Hi guys, Akuni here. Uh, I'll try and do a test uh, video, a flight test, uh, see if I can take off in water uh, with my little invention. And uh, hopefully it works out. I'll fit up uh, a garbage pail, a garbage pan. I'll just fill it up with water and uh, try and take off from there. Because uh, out here in Canada right now, uh, it's still winter. So all the ponds, all the rivers, the lakes, they're all frozen solid. So I thank you all you guys uh, online for those accepting to do some tests in water. So uh, anyways, I'll go outside and uh, get things ready. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so I hope you, I hope you can see this. Um, I installed the float gear on my quad, and uh, I hope you can see this. I got the camera on my head, so it's floating there in the uh, bucket, in the garbage can. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. And what I'll do is I'll slowly increase the throttle, so you kind of see how much power is needed to uh, break the water seal to be able to. Uh, like launch from the water so I hope you can see both the, the the quad and my finger on the throttle so here goes that's all there is to it it's a little windy today it's not the best time for uh, flying around but if the wind uh, affects the, uh, the the quad you kind of see it it's really windy today as you can see, but I'll fly around and uh, give you guys a I'm going very slow right now. I could go faster. I'm up, I'm up against the wind right now, but I'm gonna make it back here and try and hover a little bit. So the float gear only weighs 32 grams, so it's next to nothing. It's Oh, I'm, I can try and land it, but it's very windy, so I'll just go ahead and try that. Oh, maybe I can do a little video too. Okay, let's see. Alright, it's filming. The camera on the drone is on, so come down a little bit and try and land. Yeah, it creates lift when I come close to the water. Alright. Somewhat of a decent landing, I guess. And <laughs> my landing pad is not very big. Alright, so shut down the drone. Let's have a quick look here. So you can kind of tell where the, the water line sits. All right, so starter again. You can already see it lifting when the when it's just running idle. All right, so let's do another takeoff. And again, I'll show you how much throttle is needed. Maybe get out of the sun. Yeah, that's it. Comes out of the water. Try and let it stand there for a little while. All right, so water launching is a possibility. Now the next thing I'll try is uh, maybe hook up a GoPro camera, which is kind of uh, 
too big of a camera to be putting on there, but uh, this is what I got, so. <laughs> See, the gyro's fighting to keep it leveled. That was a good example. The gyro was fighting to keep it leveled so it doesn't flip over, because it would have flipped over right now because it got hung up on one of the legs. All right, so let's try again. Not an easy task, I tell you. All right, so I just broke a prop trying to land it on the garbage. <laughs> well, I have spared, so we'll try it again. All right, so there I go, I just landed in uh, snow. I guess if I didn't have that uh, landing gear on, it would uh, kind of sunk in the snow a little bit and probably damage the props. It's well balanced. Like I said, it's very light, so... All right, and so my next test will be to put a GoPro camera on the quadcopter and uh, try and do a water start. All right, so now it weighs 37 grams, but the Velcro strap is uh, soaked in water, completely soaked in water. This blue foam is the same type of foam they use for floating docks, so it shouldn't take on any water. So it's been in the water for a little while, and uh, it's 37 grams. All right, so I got my GoPro attached to the quad here, and it's pretty heavy, so I have my doubts as if it will be able to launch from the water, but we'll try it. We'll test it.
So I got uh, GPS signal loss, so I'll just put that in the water here. Better start the video on my camera. So it has no problem floating whatsoever because there's a little bit of air in the uh, in the uh, GoPro case. So it kind of sits a little deeper in the water, I guess you can tell by the water line here. But it's carrying a lot of weight right now, so let's go ahead and start it. All right, moment of truth. Can we launch from the water with a GoPro camera attached to the H501? All right, let's see. All right. Working really hard. So this is probably too much weight, but it was able to launch from the water with a GoPro attached to it.